Slide to the right. right. Come. Slide, Slide to, to the, the left. left. Ugh, I finished. <laughs> Bing bong, bitch. It's another hotel episode. We are in New York City. City mm, right now, but also other places and other cities we're going to be because we're on tour is going to be to next week. Jacksonville, Florida. Trevor, your boy is going to be out there November 18th through the 20th. Jacksonville, Florida. Alligators. Then December 9th. Through the 11th, I'm going to be in Denver this December at Comedy Works. Charlotte, North Carolina, December 16th through the 18th, pull up. up. And then we're coming to an end this year in Nashville, Tennessee. Actually, it's going to start 2022. Nashville, Tennessee, January 6th through 9th. And then massive tour announcement on the 15th, Monday. Hold your panties, get your tits out, get your dicks out. Your boy's going on a theater tour. tour. Wait for it. But right now, also... Wait for these dates for Michael Blaustein. Bing bong, go for it. Michael, two fine Blausteins, going to be yelling about feet, stand-up comedy, on tour. Next date, November 21st, I will be in San Francisco, California. December 9th, I will be in San Diego, California. Those tickets are moving, so grab some. Uh, January 23rd, I will be in Sacramento, California. February 3rd, I will be in Philly, Philadelphia, PA. Cheese steaks up my ass. And then February 5th, New York City, Gramercy Theater. Go get them tickets. And then February 6th, I will be in Boston, Massachusetts. So, on to the episode. Oh, did you say where you got to get tickets for you? TroubleWallsComedy.com. Where you get tickets for me, it's BlauComedy.com. TroubleWallsComedy.com. BlauComedy.com. Splat. Two fucking words. I'm walking here. That's one too many. Who who the first person to say, hey, 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 I'm walking in? Probably a pigeon. Yeah, pigeons. Pigeons, all right. they be getting their steps in. <laughs> they were getting their dude, steps you a, in. You got to give them a Fitbit just to see where they're at. Dude, they just be getting their steps in. They, it's like, that's crazy. They know they can fly, but they're like, I'm going to just be on the ground today. Yeah, but do they? I don't know what if I've ever that? seen a pigeon fly. It's like having heelys and never using the wheels. Just walking on your tiptoes? Yeah, you ever have heelys? No, I had friends. <laughs> Clip it! No, dude, I tried some of these healings one time and I fell. <laughs> you ever fall wearing shoes? Yeah, dude, that's uh, I was, dude, I was a non-athletic kid. I wanted the soaps really bad. Do you know what those were? The what? The soaps. soaps? Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Hold on, hold on. What are the soaps? Why do you guys... I hate when you guys always know... We did hair one together. No, uh, <laughs> they were healings, but in the middle they had like a plastic kind of like indent maybe like ha like a picture of a tunnel this oh to grind yeah so you could <gasps> run and jump and then like grind on curbs oh i'm super soaps. into that yeah if you had soaps you probably are nearing your second or third felony at this point in life yeah if you're still what if you still do people still wear I mean, once in a while you'll see it you'll see like dc's or osiris's every once in a while osiris's, osiris's those are my jam those fat fucking they had the yeah. tongue where the that looked fuck? like that pokemon's tongue lick a tongue where oh, his name was lick a tongue lick a tongue right you got to change that, dude. Lick a tongue. Lick a tongue. It sounds a little redundant. Hey, come on. You can't lick a tongue. Hey, can you lick your own tongue? Yeah. But. I hate that sound. Oh, I yeah, hate that lick sound, a tongue. too. Lick a tongue. There he is. What about dude, Squirtle? This bro. Come on. Oh, this dude lick eating a some a fucking. Pussy. Eating a little bit of boxy Motherfucker box. works at UPS. I <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> he probably hates licking stamps. They're just everyone's like, lick a tongue. It's like, God damn it. Let me just go eat pussy like I was put on this planet for. Dude, where are stamps? Are they done? I stamps hope. are... Dude, stamps... Stamps.com. <laughs> no! <laughs> They're not all sponsors. <laughs> but what What are stamps? Not what are stamps. Stamps took a big tumble. Stamps were like... Hot stamps. <laughs> dude, but I'm saying, stamps were like the shit. They like, were the thing. You couldn't operate without stamps. And yeah. then all of a sudden, stamps, we don't give a fuck And they fuck got about fun. It. They had the like Garfield on stamps. Oh, dude, yeah. That was like, that's how you flex. That was the first like emoji. It was cool stamps. Yeah, Sacagawea. Yeah. Who the and they fuck were... is Sacagawea? <laughs> she's on a lot of shit. What she's on she the one. She's on the $1 gold coin. Yeah, $1 gold coin. She's on stamps. What did she do? Sacagawea? <laughs> <laughs> this is why we have Gabe in a laptop, so we don't just look like idiots. Yeah, this one I don't even need to look up. I can just tell you, you know. There we go. The top. Yeah, it's the, uh, she, she was the, the person that helped Lewis and Clark walk across like America. She walked across America, like with Lewis and Clark, Lewis like and the Clark. original like explorers. No, I know Lewis yeah. and Clark. Good is. for her getting on the coin, not Lewis and Clark. Could you imagine two dudes on one coin? Hey, it's Lewis and Clark. What is this? A Dave and Buster's? <laughs> <laughs> what is Dave? One guy and Buster's the other? I think so. Who chooses to go first? Because it could be Buster's Lewis and, and Dave. Clark. Clark Why can't and Lewis. It be Clark and Lewis. 
Lewis and Clark also walk across America steps. <laughs> <laughs> Pigeons. Sacagawea. This bitch walking across with flip flops. Give her some air walks. <laughs> <laughs> air walks. Where are those? Those, those are great shoes too. Those are gone. all those classic brands. They just kind of disappear, and you're like, "What? Did they go bankrupt, or the guy just took his millions and kind of fucked off?" Millions. I think they all go from like being sold at like Macy's and Nordstrom's, yeah. and then they, after ten years of no one buying them, then they just go to Walmart. What was your weirdest pair of shoe that you remember owning? Uh, the Air Bacon's. Huh? I had a pair of Nike Air Bacon's. Ba- you're not bullshitting. No, they're literally called Air Bacon's. Air Bacon's. And if Kevin Bacon, can hey, say- you ever seen Kevin Bacon's hog? <laughs> I have not. Holy Toledo, my dick! How you're do you about these? not know what Healy's so yep. sorry, but yep, you know what Kevin Bacon's ones. dick looks like. Those are the exact ones. Can I see these, <clears throat> dude. My dad, my dad bought this for me because I wanted them so bad. And uh, and my dad literally looked at me. He goes, "You better be good at basketball." If oh I'm my god, this these yeah. are expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I dock the price? <clears throat> uh, sure. Five eighty. Oh well, they're, they're five eighty now because they were like. You know, they're like vintage or whatever at this point. I got them when I was like fucking. Oh, it's like bacon. B A K I N. Yeah, like bacon. Like I'm baking it. Oh, I'm baking pussy. muffins. I thought you yeah. meant like motherfucking ham. Uh, bacon. 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 Are you a ham or a bacon guy? Bacon. Are you bacon all the way? Yeah. Every time I try to do something different for breakfast, I'm like, hey, I'm going to get chicken sausage. I'm like, it's good, but it's is fine. This, yeah. Is this bacon level good? No. All right. Hot take. Okay. Yeah. Real hot take. Hot it. I am, I'm a bacon dude if we're just doing bacon by itself. Which but if is, like you're just at a buffet and you see bacon, or you just oh, ordering yeah. just bacon? Well, this I guess this is what I'm saying, right? If if uh, you go get breakfast and you get some eggs yeah. and, like, uh, you know, a side of hash browns, and mm-hmm. like everything's kind of separated. Yeah. I'm a bacon guy. Right. On a sandwich, don't like bacon. Like, you're talking about like a bacon, egg, and cheese? But you don't get bacon in every bite. Right, and it's and the consistency is always off, especially if you get into wow. a sandwich. Well, I would appreciate. I like bacon's crispiness on its own. Yeah, that's and what a we, sandwich yeah. just gets tossed in there. It's all mushy, but here's the take: I'm a sausage sandwich guy. Yeah. No, I'm. I know that's that's a very that's a normal take. I think really because you get sausage in every bite. It's consistent with bacon. Yeah. You want to taste the crispy and the fat. You want you want to go through the five ranges of emotions with bacon. You're like oh. salty, sweet, cum, whatever the other two are. But yeah. the sausage is just like <laughs> I'm getting protein and there's texture in every bite and it fits the circle. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. I every... thought you were gonna say something wild. You're like I like yams. <laughs> I like yams. <laughs> in a breakfast you sandwich. Know, I'll put yams in there. I- Think about it. A yam and a breakfast sandwich? A little sweet, little moist. Um yeah. No. no. Zero? I mean, I'm all right. What's your, what's your go to like you're making a breakfast play at, at a continental breakfast? First of all, continental breakfast always has the soupiest mushroom uh oatmeal in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you pour it out and it just looks like what a troll would come. <laughs> like a gargoyle would not have. it's just the cons- they put so much water in it. Why yeah, also do gargoyles come? Probably. The hell? They're always hard. Hold on. Come on. I get it. Comedy <laughs> podcast. We understand. Stiv Socks, live from a hotel in New York. Anyways. We're in New York. We didn't we didn't say it. We're, we're in New York. Oh, what was I going to say? Hotel pod. Uh, uh, oh, I was in Atlanta doing shows. Whoa, Speaking flex. of breakfast. You ever have Waffle House? Yeah. Fuck. Well, it hits every time. Fuck. Waffle. Dude, there needs to be a podcast just called the Waffle House House. Bars. Yeah. Anyways, and you just interview Waffle House employees. Oh, dude, they were uh, the funniest. Can we turn the helicopter thing? down? Helicopter down. <laughs> um, the funniest thing ever. I was with my buddy uh, Neil Ghosh, and then we got the uh, waffles. Yeah. And the waffles. And Neil. You like, might be the first person I know to ever get waffles at Waffle House. Are you joking? Have you ever had a waffle at a Waffle House? I'm a gluten free bitch. Unpopular oh, opinion. Sorry. Take <laughs> Sorry. <a> Sorry. Walk. <laughs> no, I just get. I just get hash browns. Oh, it comes with everything, right? I think most things you can get it if you get the all-star. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. Gabe, no, no, cut it. Totally. <laughs> Although, also, I enjoy pictures. I want all pictures on all menus. All menus you know, you yeah. get a fancy one, and they're like, hey, it's you me kunu, but I kind of... And then you got to go on is. Yelp and look it up. You got to Google it. Yeah. Picture. I don't <laughs> give a fuck how nice the restaurant is. Give me a picture. Right. So, waffles. Waffle House. We all get our waffles. And Neil goes... I'm so sorry, ma'am. I got chocolate chips in my waffle, right? As an adult, and, that's such and, a funny thing to say. And the woman goes, oh, not a problem. <laughs> she turns, comes back with a fistful of chocolate chips, and just 
dumps it with a lot of like, here you fucking bitch. Oh, yeah. Just on top. <laughs> I laughed for 40 minutes. Oh, I, I would have. I'm just thinking that like, you can't recover from that. No, dude. You have to tip extra for that. <laughs> it just was you like, have to be a submissive person to this. You're like, I am now, you're, you are, I'm simping to you forever. Whatever you need. Forever. Get dude. out a spatula, finger my ass. Dude, <laughs> You've won. No. <laughs> no glove. No glove. I just thought about that right now. No glove. No. no. Just. They don't even have the right to work there. No. no they work at AutoZone. <laughs> yeah, their hands are all fucking dirty from the, yeah. from the old changes. She's like licking her fingers. She's like, I got a buffalo nickel. And I got a quarter from 1973. <laughs> Dude, when she just dropped it. What was a power so, move. Oh, it was great. Oh, can I have some chocolate chips? Here's your chocolate chips, yeah. you fucking East Coast fuck. I mean, that's what you get for ordering chocolate chips as an adult. You can't do that. I, I mean, and here's the thing. I would have. That that sounds like a scenario that would happen to me. Uh, Yeah. If you Do you do you, do you like, like that type of stuff in your waffles? <sighs> Not really. No, you but, know, so, you know, but so, that type of event where I was like, oh, oh yeah, I, I actually got strawberries on mine. And and, yeah. and then she just comes back with rotten blueberries and throws them on my face. Yeah, like, These are not actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'll, yeah. I'll take it. Go, you know what? That's exactly what I ordered. Yes. And did he eat it still? Yeah. Wow. If someone's coming with a fistful of chocolate chips with that much anger, you're saying, thank you so much, ma'am. And you're finishing it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what's funny about waffles is I was about to be like, yeah, I don't order chocolate chips because it's just like too sweet. The amount of syrup that I put on waffles yeah. is disgusting. What's what's higher, your butter or uh, syrup ratio? Syrup, syrup. Really? But I but I go butter though. I go oh, a lot of butter. butter. Dude, I'll tell you, I go with the butter and the syrup. <gasps> fucking call me Timothy Chalamet. God damn, I don't Timothy know what that means, but I'm Chalamet. fucking fucked up. <laughs> he would get fucked. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet? I saw the Dune. Chalamet? Chalamet. <laughs> Charlemagne. <laughs> if Charlemagne and Timothy Chalamet had a kid, Timothy Charlemagne, that would be. Timothy Chalamet. That's unbeatable. The that would be the hottest light skinned person in the world. Timothy yeah. Chalamet. And he'd also be funny. Funny, hot, great jawline. Dude, this we saw guy. Owen Wilson in the city. Really? Yeah, he was riding a bike. That crooked nose. <laughs> well, dude, that's how I knew I saw him. He was. We're literally waiting for Prince Street Pizza, like a bunch of hacks. And uh, <laughs> dude, I, so sad. I waited in the Prince Street line for like probably upwards of an hour. No, because the other people I was with wanted to go, and I was like, all right, we got time to kill. Yeah. I look online, they got gluten free, and I'm like, hey, come on, mm. hey, they got the fucking gluten free. Oh. Let's walk and I go. Oh. And I wait in line, and I've been waiting for like an hour, and I get up front, and I go, I can I get those lights gluten free? <laughs> the guy goes, we don't have that. <laughs> But there's such a big line, and it's so fast-paced, and everybody's fucking ordering here. Yeah. I get nervous, and I go, I'll just take a pepperoni. And then I just ate the cheese and the pepperoni off, and then I had a nibble on the crust for two bites, and then felt weird later. But, God, it was a fucking, it was a great two bites. A but as we are waiting in line, Owen Wilson, some guy rode by on a bike. Just and it was Owen Wilson. Just Owen Wilson on a bike. And then I checked Twitter, and somebody else was like, I think you just saw Owen Wilson in Soho. And I was like. Must be Owen Wilson. Isn't that crazy? You can just like go on Twitter and just type in Owen Wilson and someone else will make Owen Wilson spot. Sp Sighting? Sighting. Spotting? Spot, spotting. Train spotting. I wanted movie. to get I want to get into bird watching. What the hell did you just say to me? <laughs> I just feel like that's uh, something I haven't tapped into yet that people like get fired up on. Like yeah, you the, know when you have a really good coffee and you're uh -huh. like that feeling. Yeah. Is it like that when you're like that's a fucking blue jay? I think so. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can sort of understand it while you're like, it sounds peaceful just in the fucking forest, and like, oh, there's a mockingjay. Like, yeah, but just... with any activity, there, there's got to be stress. Like, yeah. he's like, yeah, he just... wife's like, honey, could you help me with my taxes over here? So like, I'm gonna miss a West African fucking blue jay belly hawk. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, Darlene. <laughs> it is funny. Like, is it like hunting? You know, you like come back from like hunting. It's like and, hunting and without a gun. But your wife is like, "Hey, how was the hunt?" You're like, oh, there was no fucking elk out there. Right? Or is you're, it the same you're thing? out there and your buddy sneezes too loud and you scare away a sparrow and you're like, "Well, there goes my day." God damn. You know what? It has been so hard to get water in this city. Yeah. And you know, honestly, when I show up to a comedy club like I did last night, Gotham, great show. I open up the fridge and I go, "Please just be water. I'm parched." And you know what they had? What? They got liquid deaths up in liquid there. Liquid death. I was like, dude, they're my favorite. I was crushing them on stage last night. Like I was just a sober Hulk Hogan. Because everybody thinks it's beer. That's the they thing. Do. But it's, it's water. They're like, chug it, chug yeah, it. I was like, gladly. Yeah. I've you never felt so cool in my life. Just chugging liquid death on stage. But we all know liquid death. It's water in a can. Murder Bro. your thirst. Death to plastic. 
turn up. Dude, you know what's crazy? My favorite, honestly, my favorite part about this one, the taste, and two, I can chug it. Yeah. You ever like a bottle of water? You gotta squeeze it, look but like you eat it like a fucking gerbil. But a liquid death, you can just because it's got like the wide mouth. Just I'll chug show you it. a wide mouth. Cock. <laughs> I was going to say octopuses, but anyways, oh, okay. no, but, um, also there's something refreshing about drinking out of a cold aluminum versus like a cold water bottle, even at its coldest, not very long. Plastic doesn't get cold. It, it's always, it's like cold, but it's pissed that it's cold. It's like, I'll be hot sec- soon. Yeah. Condensation. Like, the fuck is that? Something stupid. Dumb. Starbucks cups need to get rid of theirs because the wettest cups in the fucking world. Wet, wet. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. And not only are they taste incredible. They're infinitely recyclable. Recyclable. Yeah, plastic. I heard a stat that in like, not, I'm going to fuck the details, but like 1940, a piece of plastic that was made in 1940 is still around. Yeah. Fuck that. Aluminum, Stupid. infinitely recyclable. Murder your thirst, murder goddamn plastic, or whatever we're supposed to say. We'll cut that part. <laughs> but yeah, man, no, we love them and we drink them in the studio all the time where you're just in New York here and they don't have any fucking water anywhere here. Um, and you can get yours today. If you go online, we'll get you some free freaking shipping. How about yeah, that, dude? dude? And they have fire merch. They have great merch. It isn't go fire. to liquiddeath.com backslash socks. That's liquiddeath backslash socks. Or grab some Whole Foods, Sprouts, or 7 Eleven. Dude, they're like a dollar or something at 7 Eleven. It's, yeah, it's super like, expensive. Easy buy. If you want it, liquiddeath.com backslash socks. Go grab some shit and murder your thirst, baby. God damn. Dude, if you think about it, it's hunting without a gun, you're looking yeah. through a scope. You hunt with your eyes. And then you go, there's the thing. Is that just... Hunting with your eyes? Yeah. It's kind of like a... It's kind of like um, like bird porn. Uh, yeah, you're like yeah. looking. You're like kind of, it's also like... it's a, What's that called? Peeping Tom? Peeping Tom. You're Peeping Tom the birds. <laughs> Who's the Tom? Birds, the, who the fuck is Tom? He's just the local town drunk. Um, oh, it's just Peeping Tom. He's probably stoked that he's like a guy now. He's like he's a... He's in prison. <laughs> He's been in prison for a long time. People. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, it is. It's it's bird porn. Also, like, let the birds do their thing. Also, you know when we're watching National Geographic, you know how the guys like, and then this is how the gorillas fuck. Let them fuck. Why are we watching <laughs> gorilla porn all of a sudden? I'm with my fucking nephew. <laughs> he just quickly. It always quickly. But, they're always fighting or fucking. But when a videographer for National Geographic sees that, do you think he's like, ah, oh, gross, or do you think he goes? There we go. Oh, of course. No, of course. That's that's the hot shit. That's the money shot. Yes. <laughs> and then like an airplane flies by and scares him. He's like, you fucking cock block. Yeah, this was a fucking silverback. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Put cum on the back of the silverback. You don't even know where the fucking what back ends and the that's cum a chrome starts. Back. Come on. Hold on. What's the weirdest activity you think you'd want to do if you, ret- let's say you won the lottery right now. Yeah. And you have 50 mil in the bank. Yeah. 49 because you owe me a mil for some odd reason. Yeah. 48. Fuck it. <laughs> Gun to your head. You have zero dollars. <laughs> I gave you all your money back. What's like an activity you think you'd get into? Or, or it's so hard to say because you don't have the money. Um, I think uh, like, like, like kind of like a weird activity. Yeah, just something to pass the time by. Dude, you're, if you're worth that much at yeah. eight in, you know, in your third, like, you're just like, what do I do? I I'm have, bored. I have two things. One's not weird and one's a little weird. Okay. The, the, one, <laughs> the one that's not weird is I think I would get into like, building a car from scratch yeah i think i'd love to do that or yeah. like or like take like a real old car like from the 50s uh-huh and like that's beat the fuck to shit uh-huh. and then like literally just kind of teach myself how to like refurbish and and uh give yourself a project <clears throat> yeah i think i would, I would love- we're building boats and glass bottles yeah. <laughs> recycling how many times do you think a wife was like ah oh, this is trash and threw it away because like that was a saint marina <laughs> Hold on. Oh, a boat in a jar. Yeah. and the, No, they were in like bottles. They're in like wine bottles. Have you ever seen how they get them in there? Like they, tweezers. They fold it down and then they put it in and it goes whoosh, and it comes up. Wait, huh? Yeah, that's how they get it in there. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You, they make a boat outside of it, but they make it so the, the sails and the mast can go down so it, it gets real thin. I thought they built it in the bottle. No, how the <laughs> double <laughs> hockey sticks well, that's, that what, that's what I was concerned. I thought they took like their wife's tweezers and like put them in and then we're like, boat. Oh, no, 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 no. They build it sure outside. About that? Yeah, and it, it folds up? Yeah, it just folds. But how would that get in a bottle? You put it in, all well, fold it up, and then you can- Like an it enema? Uh, yeah. You, you ever had to take an enema? No. <laughs> I have. <laughs> I know. Not good. I think you kind of like it. I don't even kinda. think- Kind of. I don't even think you have- <laughs> <laughs> You're a drink off fucking an enema? <laughs> have you? 
What's an enema? <laughs> it's just a medicine that goes in your ass. What does it look like a dildo? What does it look like? No. Oh, I don't know. I've never seen one. It looks like a middle finger. Does it look like a little pill? Uh no. I mean it looks like uh you ever had a jello shot at the bar? Yeah. But it's in like a, a syringe. Yeah. Oh, it's a syringe. But like a like a not like a needle syringe, like yeah, a, like a, one of the thicker boys. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just like shoots. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. So there's no. Guys, we gotta stop talking about this. I'm getting hard. <laughs> nothing that goes in your ass. Oh, everything goes in your ass. Well, well the, the the tip part does. I mean, it's like a, that's the activity I'm getting when I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like a picture a neosporin bottle, but there's a pusher at the end. And so you, you, kinda, just, you, like just push in, you just push yeah, it. You just push it. Turkey baster. Okay. Well, way to be <laughs> topical game. <laughs> you just like one of these. Oh yeah, let me see this. Uh. Somewhat. Why the hell is it all pink? It looks like yeah, it's great branding. It looks like Cody Co's merch. <laughs> <laughs> you use promo code Turkey Baster in the S five. But yeah, you dude, it's 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 honestly it's one of the worst moments of my life is there was like that three month period where I had to put an enema in my ass to find out why my whatever the fuck yeah, I have yeah. with my colon is fucked up. It took three months. Well, because they were trying different medicines, and then okay. this was like I was taking a, a pill, mm -hmm. but I but it's so crazy how the body is like they're like okay, well, what we're trying to achieve in your colon, it's like so central in the body you have to hit it from both angles, and I was like, oh yeah, what what I gotta like sit on a chair or something? No, jam this in your ass every night. I would literally have to lay down like I was a fucking schoolgirl, and just do this slow slower though. <laughs> okay. But I, I would like have to have like one leg like cheek like caked up yeah. like this yeah. like seductive. Oh my like, god! Like like almost like a Playboy like, model. Yeah, like a like a like a you're laying on a Jaguar car like for the '90s and you have the frizzy hair. Yeah. And your name's Carmen and you would just like go like this and you would bite a pillow or you know whatever <laughs> like, you yeah or, you know put on some boys to men and yeah, <laughs> the lights and you'd have to just squirt and it, it the weirdest feeling. It's, it doesn't feel good when things go in there. Your really? ass is like, ding dong, wrong way. This is a one way. Really? I feel like it would feel awesome. <laughs> well, no, the liquid's in there. There's like liquid in your ass. Liquid IV. I don't, Run it. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm imagining this properly. Okay, so it's show a, me a ass. <laughs> it's a mean? syringe of it's a syringe of medicine. Yeah. And then just and you blast it up in there. You blast it in your ass because my colon was the thing that was fucked up. So the colon but, is what connects to the ace hole. But did, I don't. I'm confused. We lost. I'm not lost. I'm just like, how does you the medicine stay in there? It, you clench. <laughs> no, really. Well, it, once it's past, there's like a certain point in in the ace hole. But once it's up there, it's kind of just in there. It just stays. The next day, you supposed you, to just kind of stay in a position for a minute. Do you shake kinda. it? Kinda. Do you put it in your ass and just start jumping because you got to shake All it? All this up? is not making me feel like uh, the most powerful man in the room here, guys. Right, right. Well, Gabe got one too. You guys are just one of fucked in the no, ass. I've never gotten in that in my Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You no. were so, talking like you were an expert, Gabe. No, right no. Now. So essentially, you just uh, you just put it in there and it, it just it kind of shoots bas past the point of no return. Yeah. The next morning, you uh, inevitably shit it out. Yeah. The first couple times you do it, you immediately, your body's like, nope, get it out of here. And you poop, poop up at this. Yeah, well, it's not Damn. poop. It's just the liquid. Dude, the, the next time, uh, the next time, the only time, if I need an enema, I'm going to put it in a super sucker and make it like a carnival game. And then I'm going to have my girl shoot it in my ass <laughs> with a super sucker 150. Yeah. While watching goth porn. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Dude, yeah. someone DM me one of the hottest goth women. I, I love you guys because you guys are like, hey, Michael, you'll like this one. And every time I do. Yeah. Hot. Hot. Fuck. Um, I think I can get into an, an, an what is it called? NFT? An enema. An enema. No, an I mean, it's, look, it was a terrible three months, but it did heal my colon. <laughs> it was fucked up. The worst thing is, like, I'd always have to do it super late at night when I was getting home from, like, comedy or something. Uh, so it'd be, like, three in the morning. I'm just so tired doing this, just praying to God. One of my roommates is like, hey, man, you got an iPhone charger? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, it's, it's, one, it's the weirdest position to get walked in on. Did your doctor have to walk you through what position to put yourself in? Because yeah, that's yeah. funny. No. Yeah. But my doctor was like monotone dead inside. And she's like, so you take this, you put it in, you kind of squirt it. You hold it there for a couple seconds and you should be good to go. And was, like, she, was she hot? No. Oh. I told her. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> Demonstrate on this cantaloupe. <laughs> and by cantaloupe, I mean my own ass. <laughs> yeah. That, I don't know how we got on this subject. Sorry for either. eating food. But it wasn't great. But your boy was in and out of the hospital every other week. It was fucked, dude. The hospital? Well, yeah. Well, that's where I had to go to meet with a person. Oh. Because I had to go to a gastro gastrologist. Dude, to get that, then I just meet people that are truck stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
glory holes, huh? What the hell? Do oh, women have glory holes? They put their vaginas in the glory hole? <laughs> Say, fucking eat it. What would it be called? It's not a glory hole. It's a beautiful box. Yeah. Glory oh. hole. What? Mm. Is it glory? Sometimes it's not glorious. Can't be. Could be a girl named Gloria. Oh. Dude, why don't they just have a fucking oh. truck stop? Glorious hole. Gl- I got a hot glorious take. glory hole. I got a hot take right here. Mm-hmm. On the other end of that glory hole, never a woman. <laughs> <laughs> but what is it? Pudding? <laughs> what if you put your dick in and it's just pudding? That would be fun. That'd be fun. Yeah, I don't. What if you put your dick in it? Was just the opposite. How long would you? Museum? How long would you leave your dick in a glory hole before any like if before a uh, wait? Like how long would you wait before somebody just didn't show up? Like I'd be in there for like forty three seconds. Be like, eh. yeah, I'd give it a full minute. <laughs> I'd be like Alexa, set time one minute. I think it's a hard time to like stay hard. Just be rocked up for an hour. Just just the only thing you're rocked up on is hope. You know what's funny? Is like I've always been like glory hole is gross. Now that I'm like walking myself through it, it's great. Kind of hot. Kind of. You're like so hot. You're like getting milked, but standing up. I want to get milked. <laughs> I swear. Have you seen Dave? Yeah. That's, that's his like yeah. big fetish. That's the thing. Yeah. Milking. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that... okay. Why do you know that? Come on. Is that there's a whole thing? It's called like a milking table. God, I can't believe that. But then it's like. That's then you got honestly a constructed the... table. Honey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you'll see. Dude, it's just an Ikea table. You just punch through that bitch, and then you just get fucking uttered. Dude. Yeah, your honey, come, I... your honey, your fucking girl comes through and is like, where's the dining room table? <laughs> well, it's a or, it's a cup holder now. <laughs> or you have people over for like a Friendsgiving thing, and you use that same table. Somebody goes to put the yams down, and it falls right through. <laughs> I think your table's broken. No, it works no, just it fine. No, it works awesome. Yeah. I'll show you after But dinner. I will say, that's the best position to have post net regret in, is milking. Because you come and you're already just laying down. And you go, I'm, I'm go fine. right to sleep. Yeah. You ever have post on regret with your girl? You ever have that? <laughs> Get her on. Couples therapy. Have you? No, it's like. Uh, what, what do you mean? Like post on regret where you're like, fuck, now I'm extra tired. I need. I had so much work to get done. Why'd I do that? What's the real regret you feel? <laughs> no, every time I not like I'll I'll be this happens a good majority of times. She goes to sleep early, so it'll be like nine thirty. Y'all go in there, get a little bit of the what? Knock knock. Guess who's at the door? My dick. And then I'll be like, oh, I'll just get a quick little nut and then I'll go do some work. And then your boy gets a quick little nut. <laughs> Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm really invested in this Netflix show. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's 8 a.m. And I'm like, what happened? It was 9.30, and now I'm just yeah. up in the morning. Yeah. There's something about nutting. It's hard to just like go start doing work. Yeah. I have well, to nut and then go watch my own stand-up to edit some clip. No. Well, why the hell are we, like most women I know like nut and they get like, they're like energized. Yeah. The fuck? Goddamn energizer bunny. How do I hit that? Yeah. These bitches can come multiple times and yeah. they get it's like a five hour energy. No, there's like windows. She'll be like, uh, it has to be between this hours because if I bang after that, I'll be like energized and up. That's what great. Hell? What, what, what is your girlfriend? A fucking train schedule? <laughs> we do be running the train. God damn. Choo, chugga, choo. Chugga, choo, choo. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Would you ever watch a girl get banged out? No. All right. <laughs> Anyways, look what I mean. I just couldn't. Because I would be paying so much attention to the, if she's moaning harder, tenser grip. Yeah. I the do, way she says the name Derek and his name's like Hank. And I'm like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I, keep, up I literally keep, keep, I keep bringing this up like once every three podcasts. Oh, we know. Okay. I'm here for it. I'm just, I want to watch my girl get banged out. I think I'm a Like current day or like an old video? I could, I would definitely. Oh. You just said you think you're a cuck. Yeah, just for funny shits and giggles. Have you ever said giggle like, but you're serious? Oh man, it's so funny. I giggled. <laughs> what? Yeah, what would you do after a show? A guy comes up to you and goes, hey man, you got, you got a few giggles out of me tonight. I'd karate chop him. I would give him an enema, but instead of an enema, <laughs> it's a four loco. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah. You, but you couldn't just walk in on it, it would have to be like premeditated. Yeah, I think I want to start. What does premeditated mean? Is, is the only thing premeditated for murder? No, you can premeditate a lot of stuff. You can be like, I premeditated the coffee to be made in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I could think right now I'm gonna slap you in five minutes and I'll slap you, and then I was a premeditated slap because I was thinking about it. Pre- Sexual? 
Yeah, oh, but okay. it is funny. Like premeditated means so much. It's so much right. stronger than yeah. just like, oh, dude, I'm sorry. I just I don't know. My brain just told me to do it. Yeah, I like what, if you say you go to jail for premeditated parking tickets, they're like, how many parking ticket guys did you just fight, bare knuckle? Honestly, I have a premeditated ticket on my car right now. Yeah, I knew. I knew. Yeah, I was that's the thing. Treatment. I was like, fuck it. Yeah, Los Angeles. If you're gone for more than a week, you're in, it's inevitable. Take it. Yeah, there we go. Fuck you, Bazinga. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever see people like leave sympathy notes on their car? They're like, please do not give me a ticket. I'm inside breastfeeding. And then it's just some dude playing Xbox. Yeah. Dude, that's actually a great idea. Like, yeah. I'm giving myself an enema, please. I can't move. They're like, it's been 14 days. Yeah. Enema. Boots are hilarious. Boots? When they put a boot on the car. Oh, oh, oh. I think I meant this. Sh- leave yeah. the tire alone. <laughs> it's just funny because it's like, you're not, the car's just going to stay there even longer now. Yeah. If I like- walk out and see I have a boot on the car. Take it. Uber. <laughs> take it. Just take the car at that point. It's a really big sign that you're a poor person. You ever it, seen somebody try to drive with a boot on? Hilarious. I've no, seen it. Not in not person, real. but there's videos. Oh. There's a, some of my favorite videos. I saw this. I think there's a reality show out there that's, well, first of all, they have reality shows for fucking everything these days. Literally everything is a reality show. There was one in the hotel we were watching called Below the Deck where they just film motherfuckers who work on a yacht. And they're like trying to make people who make minimum wage dry, lives like dramatic. Were they hot? No. They oh, just, well, they just well, it's like they're just, they're not like dressed up to be hot. They're just like in blue polos. They're just like normal people. And they're like, these seas are the, the only thing rocky today. And the guy's like, oh, somebody ate my salad. And then it cuts like a dramatic sunrise. And it's like, his salad was eaten. And it's time for some asses to be beaten. Next on Below the Deck. Dun, dun, dun. Below the Deck is a great. Below the Deck is what I call the anima going in my ass. Yeah. Your yeah. girl's like, what do you want to do? You know it. Below, Below the, the deck. fucking deck. Below my deck. Yeah, but it's a. Uh, yeah, no, there's a reality show on there. It's called Something Toe. Miami Toe? Something Toe? But they, like, oh, toe Miami people. Oh, Miami Toe. Miami but, Toe. But, yeah, it's like a reality show, and they film people's cars getting towed, and people are, like, running out, like, fuck you, that's my car, don't take that shit. And it's great, because the, the tow truck drivers are just, like, some guys who weigh, like, 357 pounds, all kind of look like, uh, you know, if Guy Fieri came into a, a Papa John's pizza and became a person, and all these people are just like, hey, I'm just doing my fucking job, lady, and they're, like, losing their mind on this The person. people are losing their yeah. mind at the, yeah, yeah. And, and the people will sometimes get in the car, and then will, like, try to drive off like off the tow thing? Yeah, because the Jesus. Because the for, the first two wheels of the car are like in the back to like let it run. Yeah. Because I guess the last ones are the ones that are locked up. So if you want to tow a car, e, the yeah, front I think, two, I I think the e brake might be on the back tires. Yeah, the e brake. It's like what the fuck, guys? Yeah. I'm horrible at my job. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't they on all the wheels? I don't know. I don't know. And, but they, but they, people they, like they try to drive it off. Dude, people are fucking insane. Yeah. God damn. Hey, oh. oh, big shout out to the second sponsor of the mother effing episode. Honey, okay. We all shop online, all right? We've all seen all that promo code field taunt us at checkout. Where's the promo code? I can't find the promo code. You know who can find it for you? Honey. Honey. And what they do is what? they do, they like manually search for coupon codes. For you, so you don't have to do any work. You don't have to dig through your mom's purse anymore. You got to dig through all these weird candies and tissues and all these weird vibrators. <laughs> oh, weird. Weird things that are sticky when you put your hand in them. Come on now, Aye. mom. What are you doing here? Anyways, you go to Honey, and it's an extension browser. First of all, have we mentioned it's free? Free. F R E. How much? Free. Wow. Think about zero dollars. Uh-huh. There you go. Holy crap. Yeah, dude. Holy crap. Bro, you don't even have to say dollars. It's free. What? But it's an it's a web browser. You attach it, you, and then every time you just go to a checkout, it's just like, oh, y'all y'all need some coupons? Yeah. It fucking hooks you up, dude. Yeah. I told the story before. I have a maximum where I go, I'm not going to spend more than $100 on a pair of shoes. That's ridiculous. ridiculous. There's a pair of Nike blazers that I want. There's somewhere in this hotel room. <laughs> you said Nike blazers? Yeah. Is that what they're called? Oh, I literally thought you said Nike blazers because they're blazers. <laughs> I thought your head was in the... In the in no, sex. they're called Nike blazers. Oh, they're Nike you blazers. horny individual. I'm they're sorry. Nike blazers. Yep. And and they were like 100, like something, like 112 or 130 bucks. And I was like, man, what the fuck? And then Honey was like, hold up. I got you. And then they came out to be like $97. And I was like, boom, we in here. Honey, free money. And Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. Okay. And you wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons and it finds that for you for that site Okay, and it is also free. If you don't already have honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs installs in in a a few few seconds. seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash socks. That's joinhoney.com slash socks. 
Goddamn. Dude, I watched a reality show on the plane. I watched maybe 10 minutes of it. But there was this, it was like a nutritionist talking to two women who were on the bigger side. And the, she literally goes, the, the, the bigger woman goes, um, or the nutritionist goes, How, what do you drink in a day? Mm -hmm. And she said, 14 sodies is what she said. Oh, sodies. And the nutritionist goes, sodies? So, so like soda pop? And the girl goes, yeah. And she says, 14, that's kind of, that's, you know, that's a lot. And then she goes, yeah, it's all childhood stuff because my mom told me that if I have something sugary, I should have, I could have a diet Coke and it cancels out the sugar. There we go. Parents are always wrong. Parents are. They told us about the milk thing. My mom made, my, dude, my girl. Strong told, bones. Dude, my girl told me that her parents made her drink five glasses of milk. Made her. It's like, you can't go to like five glasses of milk. Yeah. Beefing, just beefing up on beefing. milk. Dude, dude, my, I used to chug glasses of milk. Chug. Just on the regular. My mom will give me a glass of water and a glass of milk. Hey, give me fruit punch, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my Welch's? Dude, did I tell you my my first babysitter, I remember this distinctly, like I was fucking seared in my brains. I hated her so much. She didn't let me drink anything until I finished my food. Wow. She was like, yeah, it'll fill you up. You'd have to finish. So, you ever have a grilled cheese with no drink? Yeah. Fuck! You're just drinking tomato soup? <laughs> and even that, she's like, ah, we'll let it slide today. Dude, so thirsty. Looking at the thing. That's terrible. It's all oxidated because it's- She's giving you peanut butter spoonfuls? Yeah. I God, what is her yeah, stupid name? I would believe so many things as a kid growing up. I remember some kid told me, I think I was in fifth grade- he told me that if you eat the crust on your bread, it'll make you like really hairy. <clears throat> and I, this kid Garrett, I don't remember his last name, but he told me that, and I never ate crust ever since that. Oh, because you didn't. And now I hair. can't grow any facial hair, and I'm like, I should eat more fucking crust. <laughs> now I just go to restaurants. I'm like, give me the crust. Did your Did your dad have like a lot of facial hair? Not really. I just wish I should. I wish I could just grow like. I just see dudes with like full beards. Yeah. You know, like because if I went to an island, I they I wouldn't they wouldn't even know how long I. That's the only reason I ever wanted to. Yeah, that's funny. That's the only reason I ever wanted to go on Survivor the show because it's a month of judgment free where you can just like grow out your facial hair and look yeah. like shit and know you're supposed to. But people that are like, I'm doing Movember. I'm like, you you look like you just sell Smarties to high schoolers. Yeah, you look like shit. <laughs> Are yeah. you do, are you doing no jerk off fucking no 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 dude I came through my jeans the dude, first day of coming November. out of a pandemic I need to be coming out of a pandemic yeah the last thing I need to do is put any more stress on my body I need to be relaxed if anything I'm jerking off more November yeah, yeah. I feel I've been horny I'm just cutting it from no not November to just not November switch Title. it up switch not it up November. We don't care anymore. Yeah, nothing but nuts. Whoa, basketball, nothing but net, nothing Hold but nuts. Hold on. Title. Nothing but nuts. If you could nut an actual nut, what nut would you want it to be? Cashews, your turn. No, <laughs> those look like they'd hurt coming out. <laughs> yeah, dude, it comes out like a boomerang and hits you in the forehead. You fucking bukkake yourself. I wasn't thinking about the actual, I was thinking about like the taste of your nut. You're oh, 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 uh, oh. Macadamia nut. Gabe, you're the new co-host. What did you say? Macadamia nut. Macadamia. <laughs> Macadamia nut cookies. That's your favorite nut? No. What's what's not my favorite, but if I can comment, then somebody gets a cookie and they're like, wait, this is just white chocolate. And you go, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> It was macadamia nut now, bitch. Hold on. <laughs> For, get out of this fucking chilies. Hold on. You would choose macadamia nuts? What's wrong with that? It's I, tropical. That's your favorite nut? To come, sure. What's your favorite nut? Peanut butter. You know what's funny? I don't like handfuls of peanuts, but that I like peanut butter. That is not a real nut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. No, it's not. Peanuts nut. Okay, what's peanut, peanut butter? butter? What's peanut butter? Peanut butter is mashed up. You know peanut butter is just mashed up peanuts? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is a peanut? A nut. Mashed up. I'm just coming smoothie peanuts. That's all a peanut butter is, is smoothie peanuts. That's peanut smoothie. Hey, can I get a peanut smoothie sandwich? That's it. <laughs> That's it. That... Dude, one time I met a girl and she goes, do you want me to make you a jelly and peanut butter? <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. You got, you got to flip Switch it. Switch that. She goes, it's the same thing. I go, it I is, but it's not. Remember when I fucking made a girl a peanut butter and jelly and she tasted it and said she didn't like it? Yeah. Get the fuck out of my Funniest moment I've heard on this podcast. Because <laughs> that girl could literally be like, yeah, it's not a Peloton. You're like, yeah, hey, I get it. Whatever. I'm saving money. That's fine. I don't, you know. Yeah. You, this doesn't mean anything. But the second she insulted your peanut butter and jelly, that's when you like lost your shit. Lost it. Lost it. Because I like, I make a fucking, like I make one. Like yeah. it's not just like what oh. What kind of bread do you put it on again? Oh, potato. I was just gonna say. Yeah. 
if potato I, bread is. If I I wasted my moist. potato bread on this fucking bitch. Wow. You should yeah. give her an end slice. Oh, I shoulda. Do you ever you ever get an end slice? slice in the face? To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> you ever get an end, like an end slice in your uh, your lunch bag in middle school, and you're like, oh, okay, all right, mom, I see what it is. Yeah, yeah. What oh, the hell? Oh, yeah, let me go home and study today. Yeah, okay. How about you study? <laughs> My girl likes end pieces. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know. I got to get a new girlfriend. <laughs> is she like the type of girl that's like, you got to throw it away? She's like, no, don't throw that away. Yes. I'll eat end Dude, slices. she's a, she's a, she's a uh, Jainism. That's her religion. Huh? I know. Jainism? Jainism. Well, that's, not a real, that's not real. No, it's real. That's a drink of Starbucks. <laughs> no, no, no. Jainism? No, Jainism. What is that? It's a religion. And like literally it, the whole like kind of tent poles of religion is like, you don't, you don't like waste. destroy life okay. so like i think I, did i tell this on this podcast i forget I no a, i would know oh i had a, a fruit fly infestation in my uh apartment because i left and dumb i didn't take out the trash and there was like bananas i was going for like a week and a half yeah. on the road with you and i came back yeah, bananas are like downtown for fruit flies <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck what's the move tonight <laughs> a couple <laughs> apples in the bottom dog Dave. Fucking love it, dog. They love a good banana. Oh man. All right, anyways. <clears throat> yeah. So whatever. So fruit flies. There was fruit flies, but like when I'm saying like infestation, I'm not even being like hyperbolic. Like there were they were fucking everywhere. Like two hundred like, or like more. I I'm not shitting you. There was like ten thousand. Oh. Like dude, I opened my refrigerator and they're inside the refrigerator. I don't know how they got in. They don't have thumbs. How the fuck they opened a goddamn refrigerator door? They're in open. We're yeah, they coming just, out of the refrigerator, coming out of the cabinets. It was a. It was yeah. The fact that fruit flies just come from fruit is one of the most terrifying. Yeah, don't they live ever. in fruit? I think I honestly think that like fruit flies, they're like eggs sometimes like reside in the fruit, yeah. and then so the fruit lasts long and they fucking hatch. Anyways, yeah. I would literally walk in my kitchen and they're like, you could feel them on you. It was a. It was a nightmare. Uh-huh. So, I set up fruit fly traps like it's just like a um a glass with like white wine vinegar oh, i've seen that like yeah. that shit right yeah she walks in and she goes what are you doing and i was like is a trap she's like you're you're really like having a like you know where i you're having like a trap like i i don't want to kill life and i was like i was like dude listen i'm on board like there's been multiple times where like i go to like smash a, 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 a spider and then she's like oh no let's take it outside Okay, spiders take outside, roaches take outside, fine, fine, fine. Fuck fruit flies. Roaches? Yeah, yeah. You got roaches? Not in my place. It was, I think, one in her place. Where the fuck were we? It wasn't in my place, though. It was in my place. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I get that. My mom's the same way with, with like, oh, spiders. Really? Yeah, she'll, like, she'll, like, trap them under a cup, slide a piece of paper, and then go outside yeah. and, like, put it down. Yeah, I'll... The spider's like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! What in the fuck? <laughs> it's cold out here. <laughs> yeah. What the hell do spiders do on a normal base? What what do they do? Spin webs? They have so many eyes. How the <laughs> they got so many legs. Yeah. How do they spin those webs? You know what's fucked up? Is they spend all night working. And then we just walk through it. <laughs> and then we'll get angry at them. You just ruined my house, you fucking bitch. Yeah, Jainism. Jainism. So she got mad at you? She got like she didn't get like mad at me. She was like, she's like, Michael, like, you're really gonna like cause I Oh, that's what happened. I, I said, hey, baby, come in here because I was like, uh, I was excited about the traps because mm-hmm. I like, Googled them. Yeah, that's yeah. what happened. And she's like, you really want to be excited about your killing like a bunch of stuff and you want me to be excited about it? Uh, like, that's what it was. Yeah. You're and like, I should like, I put the lighter and the axe can away? <laughs> <laughs> I put the microphone glass away. Um, but yeah, she was like, she wasn't like upset, but I was like, okay, I'll like take him away. Like, I, you know, I respect her, like beliefs, whatever. Like, I'll take him away. She's like, and but it's so funny after like a day more of because they last like two weeks. They're not like these things that last a day. Yeah, so they be like, fucking. It was two. They weeks. see the banana and they're like, "It's go time." Yeah, not 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 two weeks macadamia of, of all of these goddamn flies. Yeah. And eventually she's like, L- "I let's put more traps out." See, so like yeah, that's them. the thing. You, you're behind your beliefs until something hits and you're like, "I'm out." I'm out. More yeah. traps. Yeah. It was vile. The end of like the traps. Mm-hmm. It was imagine like this much uh like vinegar in a bottom of a cup and it was. It was just full of dead fruit. Like, it, was, it was fucking gross. That's why my mom, every single time we left for vacation, she was like, remember to take the trash out. Remember to take the fruit. I'm like, yeah, bitch, you don't know. Yes, you do know. Yeah. Awful. Wow. Yeah, where, where's your cutoff in Jainism where you're like, like the spiders I get. Fruit flies, uh, it's, it's hard to sympathize for them. I don't get fruit flies. I don't get mosquitoes. What about a moth? Fuck a moth. You ate my sweater. 
<laughs> yeah, they just be horny for cotton. <laughs> yeah, they just eat you. It's wool, I think. Is it? They just eat wool. That's such a sad go life. Go get a sandwich. They eat wool and then just go up to a light and they're like, yo, what the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, the life of a moth is actually pretty comforting. <laughs> you just, you get horny for wool and then you just blind yourself. Yeah. They're like at a rave their whole life. <laughs> That's literally what moths are. They're just all fucking, all fucking eat out and they're just feeling wool. They're like, yeah, this is tight. This is tight. And then they just go come to an LED light. Do moths moth. fuck? There's so come many on. Do they? I don't, know. I don't know how anything fucks. Me either. Any animal. How I'm like, does how? a duck fuck? You just move its down feather out the way? Oh, uh, ducks have the scary fucking corkscrew penis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. Like ducks. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. can open Ducks are like cool in cartoons. You see one in real life, you're like, you're an asshole. I don't believe in Jainism anymore. Yeah, a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got to make a North Face right quick. Do they kill. Do they. Do they kill ducks for jackets? Or do they just defeather them like they do sheep? Uh, they just get, they up probably a, they they get up a duck for a goddamn North Face. <laughs> Fuck. Come on, bro. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, oh shit. No. Oh, no. Oh, he just spilled right. coffee. I spilled coffee on the rug. <laughs> Whatever. Sam, we'll, put the, we'll put the table over, over it after. It'll be fine. God, I know it's going to kick it over. I'm such a dumb kid. No, you're not. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Um, oh, speaking of fucking uh, accents, this is a good transition to the thing I wanted to tell you guys. So, uh, Trev and I had uh, dinner last... Oh, God damn, that was last night. It's crazy. We had dinner last night, and it was on a street that I used to live on. So, oh, yeah. as we were waiting to be sat, I, I took my girl to, like, it was like a half a block down the road to see, just to, just to, you know, walk down memory lane. Oh, I used to live here, right? And we looked to the right, and there was literally a Porsche. It was a one-way street. Imagine New York Street. It's very tiny. Uh... A Porsche crashed into the like eating kiosk. What the hell are they called in New York? They built like wooden things outside. Oh, just like the extended outside dining. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> outside dining. Yeah. yeah, some of those are fucking nice. Really nice. Yeah, this one was really nice too. It's not nice anymore because yeah. uh, the Porsche ran into it. So the, literally, the <clears throat> the Porsche is literally backed into the outside seating thing, right? Destroyed. The dude is the hand. Porsche or the the the, the Porsche restaurant. was like a little fucked up. But the the little outside restaurant thing was well, yeah, those things aren't, fucked up. Those things aren't crafted too well. They look great, but they're not crafted. No, they're made too of well. construction paper. There's yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah, they're like they're construction all... paper and a little bit of hope, a little bit of Elmer's glue. Oh right, Elmer's glue. You ever taste that shit? Oh yeah, it's so good. <laughs> like like how come you're not eating your sandwich at lunch, Michael? I'm like I'm full up on Elmer <laughs> glue stick. I would bite that shit. Yeah, I used to chew chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? No, my sister would get these chapsticks and it'd be like, raspberry razzle. And I'd be like, yeah. hey, not anymore. Gone. Mine. You know what's something I want to taste and I haven't tasted? Cock. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I put one in my mouth one time. Yeah. 2021. Shove it in there. Um, No. Uh, Tiger Bomb. Huh? I don't know. Tiger Bomb, for some reason, it smells like medical, obviously, but for some reason, it's- it You ever uh had somebody- Have you ever smelled smelling salts? No. My buddy would just crack them and just put them under your nose at a bar. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. Did it wake you? The oh, fuck I mean, up, it gets huh? you like it's like if a Mormon were to do coke, they'd probably do smelling salts first, right? Do Just you, to like you don't like no, 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 no. It's it's them. like it's like the size of like um, I don't even know. It's like a little packet. And you just crack it in half and you just whiff it, and it, it it turns from like white to like super bright red. And you just, you you did you put it within like a foot of your nose, and it's pungent. You can smell it. So like, what is it? How does it make you feel? No, it just it's to wake up people who have been concussed. A lot of boxers use it. No word, but like, how does it, if you're, you don't if, feel any different, but you might oh, just feel like more like, oh whoa, like it's a jolt. Like if, oh. you, if you're on a long drive and your buddy was like, hey, come on, and you're, like, you'd be like more like alert. For does it like last or is it just? Like, uh, I don't know. I think it's it's like a pat on the brain. Like, hey, come on, wake up. We're walking here. Why can't we always be awake? I hate sleeping. Fuck Every sleeping, time I lay down, eating. I'm like, can I just fast forward eight hours? I hate. I just it. want to live again. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm the opposite. I just want to jump, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sad! I know! <laughs> hey, fucking New York, huh? Uh, do you think if someone jumps off the, this building and land on the ground, do you think some of New Yorkers would step over me? Hey, excuse me, I'm walking here. I just think to, somebody would. They'd 100%. have their AirPods in, and they'd be like, that's so selfish of you. Yeah. I'm also, do you want work. an oat milk latte? <laughs> <laughs> I think anybody who has sex in this city just comes oat milk. Anybody? No. This city gets me, me. This city gets me rocked up. Just walking I've around, sec, dude. I've already, I've already fucked three times. Are in you there. serious? Rocked up. I don't know. I've told you, the baby. Amount, you hear this? The amount of times. The amount of time I've got I'm, two nuts in this city. <laughs> Actually, just one. 
You only got no. One. Wait. Count it. Oh, hold up. Did you get a New, Jer- New Jersey nut or a Two. New York nut? T- here? No. Hold on. There was. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Why? Hey! Why the fuck? Say it! Say it! Say it! Oh, the standard bar. Oh! Why the fuck am I about to tell some dumbass story about a fucking Porsche running into a god darn <laughs> guardrail, or whatever? Because this and place you beat in a in the fucking standard uh bar. Because this place is ro- rooftop, rooftop bar. Rooftop bar. Yeah. So this place is this bar is really close to our hotel, and they had a drink. Let's go get a motherfucking drink or some shit after um one of the nights. And we've been talking. We're like, oh, we haven't done any public intercourse. Intercourse. Of course. Intercourse. So, what a weird ass word. Intercourse. What kind of course is that? Who's the teacher? My dick. dick. Intercourse. What golf course is that? <laughs> you fuck all the holes. <laughs> yeah. So we went over there and uh, it was like a just like a slow night. And then I go to the bathroom and we kind of been like talking about it. Like, oh, we should do some public, you know, yeah. maybe Grand Central Park, Grand Central Okay. okay, but hold um, on, Empire they, State, my God. But I, look, any of you horned up individuals out there listening, Me. which is all, because <laughs> if you go to the standard, their bathroom, it's like you go. First of all, New York, it's almost like some like Squid Game shit for you to find the bathroom. They're never convenient. They're like you go down four stairs, you you give you play rock paper scissors with a gargoyle. He comes oatmeal. Your access granted. But you walk down these stairs, and then they have a communal restroom area where it's just like maybe like 15 different stalls, uh, and it's, it's you know, anybody, any gender. So you both did, walk in. It's, it felt like a locker room almost. Did, did the doors go like floor to top? Was it like yeah. an actual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dude, it, it, it was best. honestly like it was too easy, dare I say? Yeah, it like, was too like, oh, that's a. Uh, that's for that. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Oh, dude, they had bird noises in there. They had bird noises in the bathroom. So you talking ever about come bird to watching, a cockatoo? <laughs> <laughs> twice. <laughs> but that, we were talking about earlier. Bird watching is like porn. Yeah. We, weird out of context, but you know what I'm saying, right? But there was birds in the back. I'm like, and then my dick was like, squirt, squeeze, squirt, squeeze. God damn. And our last sponsor of the episode, you know him, you love him, Liquid IV. Dude, that's the best of both worlds. You mix a little bit of Liquid IV with a little bit of Liquid D. D, yes. Come on, bro. If you really support the podcast, that's what you do. You put Liquid IV in your Liquid D. And then, you know what that gives you? Hydration. I think you say high P. Maybe high P. But hey, you know what? That's huh. fine. You know what? Because you be peeing high because you're all ready to pee. Ladies and gentlemen, come on. This is just like... This is just, this is the best stuff in the biz. Every time I travel, I pack my suitcase and I go, did I get my liquid IV yet? Because what it is, it's hydration and you just, you, you mix it in a water bottle. It's a little packet. Little packet. You open it up. Little, you you open. put it in a water bottle. Water you do bottle. Or some a water shake, can. More water can. You do a little shake, shock, shake, shock, shake. Shake, shack. Hydration station. Dude, it turns like one bottle of water into like literally like three. two to three. 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 Crazy, and they have delicious flavors. It's great for if you've had a long night out on the town. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Maybe boozing, drinking. But um, yeah, dude, it's just hydration. You'll be the man. Bring them to a bachelor party, pull them out, and they're like, dude, trends the fucking dude. Dude, Liquid IV hydrates faster and more effectively than water alone. Okay, it contains five. How many five essential vitamins? More vitamin C than an orange, huh? And as much potassium as a banana. But, dude, they got fire flavors. Huh. They got lemon, lime, strawberry, watermelon, passion fruit, guava, pina colada, uh, or even immune support and tangerine. That's that vitamin C. That's my favorite one. Vitamin I'll C. be crushing that shit. It has Every day. zinc in it? Zinc. I don't know what the fuck zinc is, but I drink it. I'm like, I'm a scientist. It's zebra ink. <laughs> oh, hold on. All right. Plus, they're on a mission to change the world. The company's donated over 4 million servings in response to COVID-19 products, oh. and they're being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and my girlfriend. All right, listen, man. So grab your favorite Liquid IV flavors nationwide at Walmart, or you can get 25. Wow. You get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use promo code SOCKS at at checkout that is 25 percent off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code socks, socks. at liquid iv dot dot com. God damn. but yeah it was weird because there's somebody next to us so you, you ever do like one of those slow bangs where you're like yeah i feel like a sloth on fucking father's day <laughs> 
<laughs> just getting a quick little nut. But, Hold on, uh, so you, you were just like, like kind of in there and then, I'm telling you, I tried to verbalize this last time. I don't think I really articulated myself properly. This new thing I'm doing is very fun. It feels a little bit like docking, and I'm just in there, and I just gyrate my hips a little bit. So I'm not in fully out, in fully out. I'm just in there, and I just and I just kind of. So like, when you say you fuck for a long time, is that what you mean? <laughs> no, but this Yo, is I fucked like 37 no, minutes, is, and you're just fucking <laughs> loading there through an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia for 22 no, minutes. No, this is a new thing. It's a new thing. But well, does it get anyone off? No, everyone hates it. <laughs> no, but my, like, what my, is it? Marinate she's like more? into it. She's like into it. Cause normally I'm, I'm, you know, I'm fucking like a goddamn caveman. I'm fucking choking, spitting everywhere. But this one I feel is like a little more intimate. You know what I mean? We're like kissing a little bit, like we love each other. You know, it's not just like. <laughs> but I, there's no back and forth motion. You're just side to side. No, not side just to side. Just doing I'm, the cha cha slide, slide to the right, right. come, slide, slide to, to the, the left. left. Ugh, I finished. Check back now, y'all. Two yeah. hops this time, and I just <laughs> hop out of the bathroom. Yeah. Um. What the fuck? Yeah. So you uh you fucked up bird noises. Yeah. All right. Wood pecker. Um, yeah, but um, uh, am I ever going to go back to that bar? Probably not for a while. No, nah, you can't. Mm -mm. You can't. Did you, did you, where was the semen? Just everywhere you gave her a little dinner. <laughs> Come on. No, I came out of the toilet. <laughs> oh, that's my out. move. I just whipped out. I was like, ah. Yeah, I love coming on the toilet. I have to cl clean it up, but the the public toilet after you come is uh, it's a also sad hard. moment. It's sad, and it also blends in with the toilet. That's what I mean. But then you, you like you can't see it, and then you turn. There's a different angle, yeah. and that harsh fluorescent light hits it, and you're like, yeah, it's come. Yeah, you take out the blue light, and you're like, this come. is a nightmare. If I took a black light to your bed oh, sheets light, right now, would it look... Uh, like one color or would it be like a cow that went to a dairy music festival? <laughs> I think first of all, a cow. Just, just. A cow going to a music festival. Hilarious. So and he can't see it. He's like, hey, come on. Move, it's all the, bitch. It's, hey. all, it's all the Chick-fil-A cows. <laughs> to the Chick-fil-A cows. So dumb. So dumb. They don't, they do. Put them in jail. Chick-fil-A is Scientology for chicken. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> You rearrange it to spell Scientology. <laughs> Have to. Um, all right, let's finish this Porsche story and let's get the heck darn it out of here. I think people are screaming that they want to hear the story. It's so the Porsche, boom, into the side thing, right? Mm -hmm. And the the dude that crashed was fucking so drunk. He like didn't. He had no emotions towards his car. He didn't give a fuck. He's just walking, like sort of. Around, and the cops are kind of trying to corral him. And I was just in front of the apartment building like trying to like avoid oh my god it's not me i don't care and the fucking cop turned recognized me from tiktok and the the podcast oh shit and he literally he turns he goes oh you're from tiktok and oh dude i'm a big fan of the Is podcast that... blah, blah. it was so weird because i i wanted to be like don't you're don't a cop listen. you're a cop you're not supposed to out loud say you watch tiktok no no tiktok and no podcast. I don't want a cop listening to this. I want a cop just listening to the a NPR. podcast. You could kind of see because it's like, but like scrolling through TikTok and he's like, "Ha check out this dog chasing its tail." You're like, yeah. "The city's on fire." Protect and serve, <laughs> sir. That's right. And the and it was like the cop was like, I think fresh out of cop school, whatever the fuck that's called. Young lad. Yeah, dude was like 22. Oh yeah. With sense. like a I gun. Like a, yeah, no. I picture like a big buff dude. No, no, no. He was like an inch shorter than me. Super nice dude. Crazy nice guy. Um, but, but yeah, it was just such a funny thing. Cause he was like going from like serving and protecting and then turned and saw me. Yeah. And was, License it, and registration. Is that Michael Bosheim? Yeah. Dude. I, I was watching it. It was, was, was a lady. Sit down. Oh my God. So good. So good. So good. <laughs> yeah. So where's your license? Yeah. It was. And then, so the dude, the cop wanted a picture, which was. It was really? The, the, yeah. It was very, I've never taken a picture with a cop. Do it on his body cam? Yeah. I, <laughs> No, but it would be so funny. It was a regular fucking phone. And then the funniest part to me was the drunk guy was like, oh, I yeah, I know you, man. What really? do you do? Yeah. And I was like, I, I podcast and TikTok. He's like, oh, dude, yeah. I know you're from TikTok. And then he goes, hey, man, this is kind of dark, but you want to take a picture with me and, and my busted car? <sighs> and as soon as he said my busted car, the cop that was a fan turned back into a cop and looked at the dude and was like, Fuck no. Get back on the car. Oh. And, and then it was over. <laughs> he just goes. It sounds like Fuck an episode no. of like Curb would end. That's yeah. so funny. Oh uh, yeah, the the yeah, the transformation from like, hey man, TikTok yeah. to back into a cop. It was so fucking yeah, funny. Yeah, every time a cop like comes up to me and like recognizes me, it's a very yeah. weird feeling. I'm like it is. 
Because well, that was the first time it ever happened. <laughs> it's like happening like a handful of times. Even the last two shows, a guy last night, Gotham. Those shows were so fun. So Thank fun. you for coming out. Um, and then also in New Brunswick, New Jersey, also great set of shows. Cops in the crowd. Yeah. And just I was like, that's so. Yeah, it's, it's like the regular people, so it makes total sense. But it, it is just a. It's like if like a fireman's there, you're like you need don't. You don't have entertain. You don't need. I, I also. Go. I feel like I'd have to. Well, maybe once they're off the clock, there's like no anxiety. But I feel like when I'm like taking time to like relax, and then like a video gets demonetized or it gets deleted on TikTok, I'm like yeah. I'm back in. Like I wonder if they're like the city is on fire, and then they just leave out of a comedy show. I think. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I or think they just like man, I'm off the it. clock. Fuck that. Well, I think it's just us with stand up, right? It's like when we're off stage, we're not literally in stand up mode, and then we get on stage. We're. I am. What's the deal with tables? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have sex. Come in here. Whoa! We have three cameras. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Well, well. That's been. A, oh, we still have to do sock we talks. Do some oh my sock god! Gabe, why didn't you chime in? <laughs> about, to, about to fucking end. This Gabe, thing. you have to edit this and put it out in fourteen minutes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do a sock talk, guys. Uh, yeah, let's, somebody uh, from Lompoc called me. Who? Lompoc. Where is that? Longpoc. Oh it. shit! That's my goddamn porn name. Um. <laughs> All right, guys. This is uh, let's keep let's keep it animal theme today. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, hey. We have a sock talk from Amity who says I'm a v- veterinary student in Australia, and I was writing in with an animal cum fact that I wanted to hear your take on. They have Wi-Fi in Australia. <laughs> uh, she says that uh, sheep. <laughs> you know how many DMs you get? Of course, we got fucking <laughs> Wi-Fi. You dumb black. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Australia, Australia comedy fans are the. Fucking best. We gotta go. I'm in. Oh, we gotta go, dude. They're they're goddamn. Let's do it. Book a flight, Gabe. Um, all right. Uh, animal come fact that I want to hear your take on. Sheep have a little wormish thing called a urethral Hate process, it. which is so that when they come, their sperm shoots out as if it spins like a helicopter, so that there's more cum everywhere. Also, their balls are roughly the size and shape of two coke cans. Holy First tomato. of all, it's terrifying. Second of all, kill all sheep. All right, I yeah, I've never wanted to wear UGG boots more in my life. Sheep, hold on. So sheep come like a goddamn shotgun, like a boomerang. Yeah, yeah with like a lot of spread. Yeah, so they just it goes everywhere. Yeah, I mean we kind of have that, right? Uh, it doesn't come out like a helicopter though, dude. The, yeah. the helicopter? That's a wild way to describe it. Yeah, this guy comes kind of like Spider Man a little bit. What if you, what if you come and you start levitating a little bit? <laughs> You're like that was a good night. <laughs> oh shit! What do you think magicians do? What is that guy? David Copperfield? David Blaine? Is David Blaine real? Is he a real warlock? <laughs> uh, I do believe so. <laughs> he is. Remember that the uh, floating trick that he did, and everyone's like, "Oh, he can float," and then everyone's like, "He just does this." And You're like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, he just made money just finessing, just yeah. angles, millions off angles. Yeah, the like, David Blaine story. It's funny because everyone's like, everyone knows it's not magic. But everyone's like fascinated, like, "Whoa, it's magic!" No, it's not. It was funny. There's all these videos on TikTok, like showing how they do all these magic tricks. Yeah, and I watch them and I get sad. I'm like, I, I wish I didn't sad. know that. It is. It's so sad. simple. You ever see like the the uh, the watch into a card one? That's all. All over. I've TikTok? seen some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. and then you, they do it, and everyone goes, "Eh, nah, fuck this guy." They order on Amazon for three dollars. I'm like, don't tell me that. Yeah. Also, I just love when people lose their fucking minds over magic. It, it's very fast. It's like it very like a crazy skill that's like. I'm right. very impressed by, it, but also we, this guy is ma-. no, he's not. He's not. He's not, <laughs> he's not magic. He's not magic. It's, magic's not real. God's not real. We're all gonna die. Gabe, next question. <laughs> um, all right, let's do a hey, fucking we're in New York. If you didn't answer that way, uh, did we answer that question? Yeah. Or what is this like? Oh, she was just telling us. She right? was just telling us. Her question would would have been. She said, uh, "Would you guys still come on the floor if it's shot in a big circular swirling motion?" Oh, I'll do it more. I think yeah, I would, would come, come on the like floor like a Roomba. Yeah, come on the floor like that, like a lot, and then like. Jump into the cum and I would go into another dimension. It would be called the upside down. <laughs> I like it. In the upside down, how come everything's not just reversed? You know what I mean? No, I don't. All right. Do you ever, <laughs> oh, can you? Do you ever see Stranger Things? I know. I know that people say there's like a number eleven, thirteen. You haven't watched Stranger Things, but you watched fucking. I auditioned for it, didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't get it either. Which which one did you go? To I went out for some random like stoner role. It would have been perfect. I was like a guy. <laughs> I was like an older brother who hangs out with high school kids and like smokes weed. Oh, that was been like, great. Yeah. Oh, that this is everybody great. from Camarillo, California. Let's go. <laughs> that would have been absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah. 
All right, let's uh, let's do a secret stock. This is let's anonymous, and they Gabe, need. How's your day going? Yeah, my day's going good. good. You like New York? Yeah. It's Have you ever been here? Uh, I came here when I was like ten years old, and I got mad at my mom because we were staying in the Roosevelt, but all I wanted to Flex. do was hang out in the room and play uh, PlayStation instead of going to see anything. Damn. Very very popular ten year ten year old opinion. Yeah. That is crazy. I just want to stay here. All right. Well, we paid three grand to fly your ass here, so shut up. Yeah. Yeah, why did everybody come to New York on the eighth grade like trip? Did you guys have that? No, I'm from here. Not from New York, but I'm from East Coast. So no yeah, they, really like in eighth grade, they're like, we're just gonna fly a bunch of eighth graders to New York." Really? Yeah, it was like a big thing. Christ. And my mom was like, "Do you want to go?" I was like, "No." My sister went though, but it's like imagine flying across the country with a bunch of eighth graders, be like, "Yeah, this should go well." What could go well? Eighth graders anywhere never goes well. Yeah, I don't like these motherfuckers Do outside remember, of the class. Do you remember Plano? <laughs> oh my! God. That was fucking awful. These people are so tired of hearing about fucking point. <laughs> Dude, quick story. Uh, then we'll, I'm sorry, Gabe. But somebody in New Jersey thought they found my hotel room. We're back. Oh, the saga no. continues. Oh, no. So essentially, we were going to, the guy who films and shoots all my videos was staying down the hall from us. And we went to his room one night to go eat food. Yeah. But we were walking down the hall and we passed a super drunk guy who was just kind of, he, he was, the door was half open, but he looked like he got caught in the door and then forgot he could open it like he was just resting there and then we walked by and he kind of was just drunk as and i just put my head down because i was like this guy looks young and drunk this is my demo yeah, he yeah. might you know yeah. i don't want to you know like start a conversation with some fucking hammer guy right now and then later that night after we ate and went back to our room he the guy my buddy hears like knocking on the door but he thought it was our friend the oh, okay. the guy who was opening for us yeah. that weekend so he opens the door and he's like wait can I help you? And he goes, hey, is Trevor Wiles in here? Oh, no. And then he's like, no. He's like, are you sure he's not living in here? It was like a fucking drunk-ass cop. Oh, he's like, you sure? Shit. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then they just left. And then uh, he said that he heard him like watching like videos of mine in the hallway. <laughs> just knowing I was... He didn't know I was down in <laughs> the hall, but he thought I was in that room. Watching videos drunk in a hallway because he was like trying to make sure he knew like... <laughs> Just, so weird. Just knocking over. So door. he didn't believe me. He's this like, guy? "Is he in here, dude?" We never talked about. Did we talk about? No, we haven't. Let's hear for Patreon, but it's a story about what happened in Syracuse, dude. And it's and it's, it's about hotel rooms. It's, yeah, hotel rooms and cops. It's fucking crazy. Very weird. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do a secret talk. Um, this is an anonymous submission, and uh, they want some advice. They say. Uh, my girl went on my computer to check some emails and stuff, and I left my phone there during the nap during a nap after a good nut on a day off. Uh, now the thing is, I left Reddit up, and I'm into some pretty interesting stuff, yes. like being the bull to a cuck or cucking my girl. Oh, he's um, like being the bull. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I don't know. I think being the bull to a cuck means like the guy that the guy that's a cuck, like the guy that's fucking the cuck's wife. Oh, uh, I'm yeah. a bull. I'm a bull. Wait, so you're just watching somebody plow out your girl? No, yeah. no, 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 no. What, the cuck the... is watching. The who's, bull, the, who's the cuck? The bull. Okay, who's so on second? I'll give you. So you're, so you're in the corner being a cuck, uh -huh. and the bull is banging out your girl. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, right. Oh, I thought you didn't understand. No, I do. Yeah, so he must be the bull. <laughs> Why is somebody banging her? Are you cheating on me back there? <laughs> Did answer. answer. <laughs> All right, so he so was watching that? Yeah, so he, he had been watching that. He left it up on his computer or something, and he said he keeps this to himself. He doesn't, he, yeah, she yeah, doesn't yeah. know about it. Um, so she saw it, and then uh, he wakes up, and they immediately have an argument because she's worried that he's going to cheat on her, which hadn't even gone through my mind. Right. Anyways, I know she's still a bit iffy about it, so I was wondering if you guys could suggest anything to help. Um, I think there's, there's, there's fantasy world, and I think there's like reality. And I think I and I completely understand from her perspective why that would be a fear. But um, if you can articulate yourself properly and just be like, uh, like, this is literally just a fantasy. When I walk through my brain in life, I'm not into it. But when I'm scrolling through porn, sometimes like that's a thing that kind of gets me. But in no way, shape or form would I ever do it in real life. It honestly scares me. X, Y, Z. Or. Uh oh. You pull a fucking hot route here. And you go, look, I was Googling the Chicago Bulls. Right. One thing led to another. Right. Now there's a video of you where I photoshopped your head onto this girl getting plowed out. Right. By this large Latina man. Or 
you just lean into it. And she goes, what is this? And you go, shut up, bitch. <laughs> Or you do a where's mixture your, of all three. Where's your fucking sister, dude? Okay. Yeah, you do a mixture of all three. Yeah, you can do You wear a Chicago Bulls jersey. You kick in the door and you'd be like, hey, I'm the boss here. And by that, I mean, I'm going to watch you get plowed out. Yeah. But it's a fantasy. Yeah, just... It, Take her yeah. to Disneyland. <laughs> what? <laughs> just, turn into, what? Disneyland forgives all. Right, baby? You heard that let's go in the background? Oh my god. I killed your dad. Disney World? <laughs> well, Disney World is sad because it's in Florida. Come oh, to my Jacksonville shows next week. <laughs> on, How Disney are those tickets selling? Not well? <laughs> Why are you asking me? I'm not your fucking agent. I have no idea. <laughs> you looked at me and genuinely asked me. Uh, well, I'll tell you. Not, not as fast as I had hoped. <laughs> Everywhere else fucking moving. Five sold out new Brunny. Two sold out last night in New York, Jacksonville. <laughs> I don't know if they know what stand-up comedy is. I don't know if they want to know what it is. No, they're too busy fucking alligators. Dude, what do they, I what do, go, they do there? I, I want to go on an alligator ride out there. You want to ride an alligator? <laughs> that a thing? No, you go on like those like bite, 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 bite. <laughs> what the hell? What? <laughs> I started to jump by. No, like the bayou. Like an alligator. You're the riding on a bike. New Orleans. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? Hey. We're trying to do a go fucking to, podcast over here. I want to go on a, a bayou. You're just saying words. Like a dude. steamboat? Yeah, yeah. A yeah. steamboat? Yeah, you're going to steamboat. <laughs> None of these are real. You're talking about the goddamn boat that has a that has a big fan on the back of it? <laughs> yeah, you're going to steamboat on it's the bayou. It's not a steamboat, you fuck. <laughs> Steamboats have to be racist, right? Yeah. What? <laughs> I think like steamboats were only ran by racist people. Or is it oh. a tugboat? Tugboat. None <laughs> of these are real. It's, uh, I don't know, I forget, it's called like a heli- it's, Oh, God. Oh, say it. <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say it. It's called a- f- uh, Yep. Fuck, it's in my brain. Yeah, no, it ain't. It's with a big ass fan on the back of it. A propeller. Propeller boat? Propeller boat. I don't know. By you. I don't know. Um, anyways. All right. Uh, yeah. Cool. This has been Stiff That's Sox. solid advice. That's it? Yeah. Uh-huh. That was so much fun. Yeah, I would just I'd go the fantasy route. Like this is just some wild. Yeah, that's that's the real advice. You know, if you want to take the funny advice, the funny one would tell her to <laughs> shut up. <laughs> that would be the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> Maybe I found this and I'm upset. Shut up. Where's your sister? That would be the funniest thing to do. Don't do that. But so funny. Also, I can't believe they have Wi-Fi in Australia. <laughs> guys, all right, all right, guys. Holy crap! This has been another installment of the stiffest of socks. I'm Michael Blazin. This is. Trevor Walls. We we know we never do that. We never say, "Hey, this is blah blah." blah. Yeah. We just had them figured out. People will be standing right next to Michael and be like, "Dude, your podcast is great. Your co-host, he's wild." I'm like, "He's right here." Oh yeah, no one knows that. The guy like. with the mannequin foot in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's <what I'm> <laughs> All right, this has been another installment of Hotel. This is what is this? Hotel number three, four. Yeah, that's got to be Hotel number four. twelve. OKC Vegas. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dallas. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is four. Um, well, guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for being part of this journey. This means so fucking much to us. I know I say that a lot, but I re- we truly, truly mean it. Um, and please go on Spotify and iTunes, rate, subscribe, and review. It really, 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 really helps us out. It gets us on the charts. It gets us more eyes. Um, also, a friendly reminder, we have a Patreon. Four extra episodes uh, released every Friday ad-free for only $5 a month. Go on patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod. Um, we get super wild on there, so definitely do that. Our parents don't listen, so we can get wild. Our girlfriends don't listen either, so we talk shit about them all the time. Just joking, Trevor's girlfriend in the corner. Yeah! Uh, hey, Suck guys, me off! You guys fucked in an upstairs bar. Um, Guys... We are out. Thank you guys so much. Peace and love and get home safe. Be sure to tip your wages. My cock is soft.